Australia is one of the most tropical cyclone prone countries in the world. On average, 11 form in our waters every year, with the official cyclone season running from November to April. Our cyclone prone coastline extends all the way from the Western Pilbara in WA right across to the Great Barrier Reef in Queensland, just like our little coastal town here. A tropical cyclone is essentially a large low pressure system that forms over warm tropical oceans. The water acts as fuel for the big rotating system as it gets stronger. Cyclones are classified in strength from category one, the weakest, to five, a severe tropical cyclone. When a tropical cyclone watch is issued by the Bureau of Meteorology, get ready. This means that gales are expected to start hitting our town here in 48 hours. A tropical cyclone warning gives you 24 hours notice. A red warning. It's time to take shelter and you should. As a cyclone approaches our coastline here, you'll notice the winds become stronger and more destructive as rainfall becomes more intense. It's dangerous. Winds near the centre of a cyclone can reach up to 280 kilometres per hour. At this point, Branches are tearing off trees, becoming flying missiles, and most of these shops are not in a good way. Awnings are getting ripped off. Watch out. Life-threatening flash flooding can also strike at this point, as rivers of water are now rushing through our town. Most dangerous of all, storm surge and high tides that can swamp coastal regions, moving many kilometres inland. And watch out for this boat. It's a hazard. And then, all at once, Calm returns, but do not be deceived. This is the eye of a severe tropical cyclone. Winds are light and the skies are clear. But this brief lull will soon be replaced by more destructive winds coming in from the other direction, continuing to wreak havoc until the cyclone moves inland and weakens. The aftermath of a tropical cyclone can be devastating for entire communities with power and water down. With at least one system crossing Australia's coastline every year since reliable records began in the 1970s, if you live in a cyclone-prone area, you should be prepared.